Hello fellow teachers and thank you for your purchase. Uh, this is a, a simple uh, instructional video on how to run the PowerPoint and also how to address certain issues that I just recently found out about. Um, I've been selling my PowerPoints online for a month or so and I never knew that this issue occurred until uh, a recent teacher just contacted me yesterday. So I'm making this instructional video hopefully to make it simpler for everybody that buys this in the future. Okay, so here is an example of a download that you might have just purchased. Week one, uh, unit one, week one lesson, uh, Sam come back. And as you can see here, it's got a little zipper. And what that means is that the folder is zipped up. Now in order for me to put up a bundle of files onto Teachers Pay Teachers, the folders have to be zipped up. There's no other option for me to do it. So when you download it, you're going to get a zipped up file. Now what the zipped up file does though, is it allows you to run the files as you see them here, but there are issues that happen. As a file is zipped up, uh, the internal links work, but the external links to the other PowerPoints will not work. And so that's a problem, that's the problem I just found out. So I'm going to run this slideshow right now to demonstrate what the problem is. And here I'm going to go to day two, for example, of this lesson. Now that external link from day one, uh, from the first cover to day two works fine, but the links to the daily fixes, the objectives, the words to read, those will not work because those are external files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape and I'm going to close the PowerPoint and I'm going to come back here to the zipped up folder. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select extract all. Okay. And this is going to ask you to create another file. It's going to create another file and you click extract. Once you create extract, cre uh, click extract, you're going to see that a new folder here appears and that's the unzipped folder. Okay, so I'm going to open that folder up and now I'm going to run the lesson. As I run the lesson, I'm going to show you that those problems were fixed. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to day two. When I go to day two, I'm going to click daily fix it. And you're going to see that the daily fix it file will now open. Okay, so this, this way you will not have to keep on closing and opening files, closing and opening files, this will work for you. Go to day two, go over to the things, correct them. Then I hit escape. It comes back to the main lesson. I click daily objectives. It's going to open up, go to day two. We go over to the objectives. I click escape and there I am. I always stay with this file open so that it's one, um, one lesson without having to open, um, uh, all the files and closing the files one by one. Okay, so now I'm going to quick show you a little quick demonstration of how I run my PowerPoints. Uh, you can choose to do differently. Um, as I said in the description file, any of these files can be run separately if you wish. You can do words to read separately by itself, sentences to read separately by itself, high frequency words. Uh, I use these during the interventions, during small groups as well, the daily fix-its you can print up and give to the kids to do in centers. So you have a, a wide variety of options to do. But to do the main lesson plan as a whole group, um, I run through the lesson, the main lesson folder. And here I'm going to run it. And we're going to go over what the big question is, the question of the week, who the author and illustrator are, the genre. Okay, then we go to the main lesson. Let's say, for example, now we're in day two and we're going to go back to day two and we go over the daily fix -its. As we go over the daily fix I have day two and I have the class read or an individual read what the sentence is. And then I pick sticks out of a cup with their names and ask for children to give me one mistake that they see with each sentence or two mistakes that they see. Okay. And we correct it on the smart board. After we've done both sentences, we'll go over and see if we got all the corrections done correctly. Now I hit escape. Instead of going through the whole daily fix of PowerPoint, you could just hit escape out of it. And the same thing is done with the daily objectives. Click on it, go to day two. 
go over the objectives, hit escape, and you go back here again to the main lesson. Now, once you're here, you can do each question individually, okay? And as a whole group, again, you review the, the concept talk. Uh, you're, I'm sure you're familiar with this by now. Um, and you go over the questions and as a whole group. You do some think, pair, share, um, as, as you wish, okay? But say, for example, I see something that's misspelled here. I, Mr. Reguino made a mistake and I need to fix it. I'm going to hit escape. Okay, I'm going to go to that slide, day two. Okay, and here it is. And in this slide, I'm going to say, I made a mistake. I'm going to hit, by the way, I hit escape to get out of there. And I'm going to put period. And then I'm going to save. And I'm going to click run from current slide. And there it is. There's the correction I just made. Okay. But now I want to delete that. I'm going to go escape again. And I'm going to delete that. I don't want the, there to be a mistake. Okay. And so I'm going to save again. And I'm going to run from current slide. And there it is. So I, I didn't read, write protect this so that any teacher can make any adjustment or add slides or do whatever you'd like to your own PowerPoint. Um, I, I, I just think every teacher should have the flexibility to change their own thing. I really don't care. Uh, too much about my copyright infringement because I, I just I just think we should all have our freedom to modify as we wish. So let me go through here. Okay, now here we go through our amazing words and go over the vocabulary and we have some images that pop up, some animations that help um, the kids understand what the amazing words really mean. Um, they're actually just oral vocabulary, so they don't have to learn how to write it; just have to learn what it means in uh, how to use it in sentences. And these two amazing words happen to be from the big book of the week, or the, the three weeks, okay, they come from that story. Then we do our phonemic awareness. I read that, the directions to them, they say it with me. Now I tell them we're going to segment and blend some more words. Now as we go along, I have the kids blend, segment, and blend with me. They segment the sounds, er, ack, rack. And I do one by one as we go along. T, ick, tick. And I do this for every single one. Okay? So again, that's something you can do as a small group or something you can choose to do as a whole group as I do. Phonics is very similar in this particular uh, case. Okay? Go through it and we blend, segment, and blend. Uh, we go over this book page. Okay? For fluency, to build fluency so that the students know how to read this without really segmenting, blending, just reading. Uh, words to read. Again, words to read. When you click on here, it opens up the words to read PowerPoint and you can do it. Or you can have, as I do, have a student helper tap on the smart board to go on to the next one and lead the whole group. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. I'm just gonna escape out of it, go back to the high frequency words. And as I do with my high frequency words is I'll say the word or a student leading the class will say the word and we clap it out. Come, C-O-M-E, come. Then we'll go to the next one, in, I-N-N. -N. By the end of the week, by Thursday and Friday, I have the students challenge themselves by turning around and not looking at the board at all, where they can do it and get ready for the high frequency word test I give on the end of the week. I'm gonna escape out of here. Sentences to read, same thing. Okay, we corally read, or you can use this, again, for small group or interventions to help the students uh, learn to read these words if they have problems. Um, as, as the lessons go along, and we in Unit 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, you'll see that the sentences to read will be broken up by 3 to 4 or 5 sentences per day. So you don't have to go through all 20 or 25 sentences to read in one lesson. You could just do the one from that particular day. In this particular unit, it still has all the sentences for each day, which I do, okay? Now, say for example, I click on words to read, and even though I extracted, uh, Mr. Reguino goofed up and, and didn't put the link, or the link doesn't work for some reason. What I can do is I escape out of my PowerPoint, I can highlight words to read, and I'm gonna click on insert hyperlink, and I'm gonna, it shows me under existing file or web page 
the directory that I'm in, the folder that I was ex that I extracted, and I'm going to click on words to read. And then I'm going to save. And I'm going to run slideshow from current slide, and you'll see that it's a different color because I created a new link, and it's going to go back and it's going to work that way. Okay? So go through here. Here we do build background for the story of the week. We go over the different um, the genre and the comprehension skills and strategies. Now these these four slides I actually print, laminate, and use on my concept board. So that's an option for you if you wish. Um, the homework preview page for my personal use. I have a link on preview, and same thing with centers. Now I left the links. I left the links out for you because you would have a different homework assignment or different centers that you may wish. But I left these pages so that you could just insert your link. So say for example, you want to put a link to centers like I do. What I do is I click it to a separate PowerPoint and it tells the students what centers they are doing. So here I am. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go to insert hyperlink and I want to instead of doing it to a different file I can click it to a file like this or or in this case I'm going to do it to my website www.mrreguino.com I'm going to click OK and I'm going to run the slideshow from here I'm going to click on centers and you'll see that the link will now work to an external website Okay, you have the choice to do as you wish. I go to unit centers. And you also, I, I share these, the, my website with others. This is unit one, week one. Students click on unit one, week one. And here it is. These are the centers for unit one, week one that I have that are also um, sorted by their reading level. Okay, I'm going to click out of here. So that's a way that you can do it. If you want to insert a link instead of to an external website, but to a different page, you can hit insert and say to this file, for example. Okay, and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to do save again, and I'm going to run slideshow from current slide. Now, when I click on here, okay, it opened it up. And here it is, and there, there's the file. Okay, so it's your choice. Um, I hope this made it easier for you. I hope this showed you how to insert links if you want to, um, and I hope this showed you how to fix any mistake that may I may have done. And if I did, I'm sorry about it. But most importantly, my main concern is that you all learned uh, that. This zipped up file that you download from Teachers Pay Teachers first has to be extracted. Again, right click, extract all, and it'll create a separate folder. Run the files from the extracted folder. So I thank you all. Should you have any uh, other concerns or questions, please feel free to email me at mrreguino at gmail.com and uh, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, a happy customer, a happy teacher is, uh, makes uh, many happy students. So thank you all and goodbye.